Hey guys, so mysteriously on Ubiquity's website a few days ago, I noticed the Mobile Router Ultra appeared. So let's check out the Mobile Router Ultra. Essentially, this thing is pretty much like the mobile router in the mobile router industrial, except it's the ultra version, so it's cheaper. Um, and this is what it looks like. I believe it is PoE powered um, or USB-C powered. I don't know about PoE, but it's for sure um, USB-C powered. It's sweet. So if I can get the packaging off this device, there we go. This is what we are working with here. It is a metal enclosure. We have a WAN and a LAN Ethernet port. Not sure. I did want to add that the mobile router line does a lot more than I thought it does. So that's the reason there is a WAN Ethernet connection. That is because you can actually have three internet options on the device. You can do a SIM card, you can do a Ethernet connection, and you can do a Wi-Fi uplink connection. So the device actually is a super cool travel router because it has all the internet options. It outputs Ethernet, it has a firewall capabilities in it. So it's really rock solid, honestly. Um, it does a lot more than I thought it actually did. And yeah, so it's, it's pretty cool to see that. Um, I'm pretty impressed. I actually could see myself purchasing another one of these, one to be a travel router and one to be the mobile hotspot do that kind of thing. And that's what I originally thought the device did. When I purchased it, I thought it was just a mobile hotspot. I didn't realize it had all of these extra features, but it's really cool to see that it does have those features. And let's get back to the video. Next, we have a five volt two amp USB-C port and a power socket port. Um, it says four pin DC power socket. Um, next, we have a nano SIM card slot, which I am just hoping that this fits with the SIM card that I already have for my mobile carrier. And by the looks of the tray, it does. So let me grab this. We also have an included SIM card tool in the box, a Ubiquiti SIM card tool. And I will be taking it out of this Android phone that I have. The sole purpose of this Android phone, you may have seen a video previously. The sole purpose of the phone is to um, function as a backup internet option. And as you may be able to tell, I have not even used this phone like ever. So yeah, let's just, let's put the SIM card in here. This is a T-Mobile Unlimited SIM card. I believe it's like 25 bucks a month or something. So um, it's pretty cheap and it looks like I bent the SIM card slot on this phone. Really cool. Um, as I was saying, this is the T-Mobile um, $25 a month per line plan that essentially just gives you unlimited data. Um, that's pretty much all we need from that. So I'm gonna put everything else back in the box. There is some mounting hardware and stuff extra in the box. Um, I do want to mention I did pay for this out of my own pocket. So um, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you should, to subscribe because I gotta film these videos somehow. So the listing on the Ubiquity website said that it does come with a 180 day trial of Unify Mobility, which is their kind of cloud management software for their mobile routers. All right, so we are here on mobility.ui.com and we're going to select the activate device. And we're going to select the UMR Ultra and we are going to look at the code on the device, on the back of the device. So we have, I'm not going to read this out loud just in case it is something important. Um, but we typed in our code, it says it's activating and I'm ready to go. So we can now visit this in the mobile routing dashboard. It says adoption in progress to ensure a successful adoption, power on device within 24 hours, insert a SIM card with sufficient data. If LED continues to flash white, visit 192.168.105.1 with the admin password. For LED questions, learn here or click here to learn more. So by the looks of things, we can now um, take a USB to Ethernet adapter and plug into the device and we can probably see some information from the device, probably related to activating the SIM card slot. Anyways, oh, here we are. So the admin password by default is UI. So we're going to not save our password because probably don't need that in the future. So I don't think Unify Mobility actually gives you data. Um, I think that's typically um, something you still do separately with like a SIM card from a carrier, um, especially with the Mobile Router Ultra. The Mobile Router Industrial seems like you work with AT&T to get your signal for that thing. Um, and same for the mobile router. Um, they both look like they work with just AT&T and you can um, bring your own SIM card for that. So here we go, we have all of the information for the device. It says enter your access point name information to connect to the internet. So we're gonna click set up. So by the looks of things, we do have to fill in some information here. I don't know what information we need. Okay, so it is now 8.42 p.m. I don't know why that matters, but it does. 
anyhow, so basically the mobile router ultra just started working out of nowhere. I don't know what took so long for it to um, connect and work, but I, it, it's working now. So I have it in the mobile router mode. You can set that on Unify Mobility. But now that it's all connected, this is what it looks like. It's quite interesting to me why it took like an hour to work. I rebooted it after like an hour of it sitting on um, and now it's working fine. So I'm not sure what the deal was with that, but um, I'm gonna do a speed test right now. Um, I'm on speedtest.net and it probably not a great connection in here, but um, this is running on the 4G band of T-Mobile area. So I'm getting 42 megabits per second down and 11 megabits per second up which may seem pretty slow, and in today's standards, to be fair, it is pretty slow. Um, but at the same time, this is just a backup internet connection. So this is not my primary connection. This is the backup connection. It will definitely work pretty well. All right, so I've pulled up the Unify controller here. You'll see we have WAN 1 and WAN 2. Uh, system uptime is two weeks. WAN IP is this 192 address. And then we have T-Mobile USA here with our monthly data usage. Uh, looks correct here. We have the uh, failover only option selected, which means it's only going to go to T-Mobile when the fiber provider, the main internet goes down. So yeah, this is about all for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Um, this mobile router ultra is pretty solid. Um, for 130 bucks, it's honestly not too bad. Pretty impressive. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.